Today we're going to be looking at this M1903. It is a Springfield, U.S. Springfield Armory 1903. And it is a 900,000 serial number, so it's got the good metal. It is, it has a vintage Lehman 57 rear sight and a Redfield sight, Redfield front sight. Uh, haven't done anything to the barrel. It's uh, bluing showing its age, but there's no real rust on it. Stock's got a couple little scratches in it, but uh, functions fine. It is a, a replacement stock. It has been replaced, uh, not by me, but before I got it. Looks to be made of a walnut. It's a nice rich color, nice good grain on it. There's a couple scratches here and there, but functions pretty good. You got this little detail in the front, this little black detail there, which I kind of like. And of course, it's got a kind of hard rubber, probably a little harder than I would like to see recoil pad on it still functions pretty good and of course it's got the same details down here as in, and in the back as in the front nothing else has been done to the firearm other than whoever put this sight on here I'm guessing it was around 50 years ago or more uh, no real rust on it. it's been stored properly barrels actually in pretty good condition and if now after further stalling here let's go over to take a few shots with it and I'll see you there Back again here, now we're ready to actually go ahead and fire it. I have test fired this already. It has been found to be safe. Again, it's a post 9,000 or 900,000 serial number, so it's got the good metal. In fact, this would make a great starting project for anyone looking to make a custom action firearm. However, I've already taken a few shots on the target, so this isn't a virgin target. Uh, again, taking them with this firearm from this range. And as you'll probably know, I'm on a steady rest, which is how the camera is actually focusing on the target. I'm cheating using the steady rest. I'll move you in position, move this rest in position, and I'll take a, fire, take a shot on that target that is out uh, about center of the screen right now. And here we go. And again, I'm firing, this is a 30 out 6 so I'm firing 165 grain. And it does kick a little bit, especially because I'm on this metal steady rest, so it will shake the camera. Loading. I need to bring this back just a hair. All right. Told you it would kick. Going to line up for a second shot. Again, I gotta move this steady wrist back just a hair because I slid it forwards when it recoiled. All right, there you have it. I'm gonna go ahead and move up to the target and see how I did. Range going cold. All right, back one more time at the target now. We came from way down there. It's roughly about 75 yard. Took me a while to get here. Not too bad for an old guy. These are my current two from the video. These, are, this one here was from just arm resting it, and here was the first start of the bench rest tuning it in. Those two were ones I just shot. If you look down here, you see how bad I, how bad I got trying to chase after the numbers on uh, just using that peep sight. My eyes aren't made for that. Should have also mentioned I pulled the little aperture out of the peep sight just so it was easier on my eyes. Not too bad for someone getting be getting a little bit older. But it'll serve its purpose. It'll hunt a deer. Alright. <laughs> 